right. Praise the Lord. It's good to see everybody here this evening. Amen. Are you excited about this wonderful concert we're about to have? Amen. It's good to have the Mann family back. We always love the Mann family. They're such great, uh, great evangelists. Um, uh, I've been, I've been, I, I, I've been listening to Brother Mann preach since I got saved. So it uh, goes back a long time, and I'm so glad they're here. It's good to have Brother Jason Crabb here with us. God bless you, brother. Love you, brother. God bless you. And um, I think I've been listening to his music just the same amount of time. Amen. So, so it's really good to have all here. I know there's a lot of different pastors in the congregation today. If you're a pastor, would you please stand, please? A pastor from another church, please stand. Amen. God bless you guys. God bless you guys. God bless you. Thank you for coming. Thank you for bringing your church, folks. We pray this is a blessing to your church as well as ours. And uh, if you don't have a church home, well, we're looking to adopt some new folks. So uh, you can come on over here, all right? And uh, if you have a church home, we just want this to bless you. You just take the fire of the Holy Spirit back with you to your place and let God bless you then, all right? Amen. Praise the Lord. Can you, can you just bow your heads in prayer? Let's ask God to be with us. Heavenly Father, it is truly an honor to be in your house today. We thank you for your spirit. We thank you for your leading and guiding hand in our life. Father, we thank you for this time that we could gather together to worship you and to give glory and honor to you. For all the glory and all the honor, it is yours, Father. And we praise you tonight. We thank you, God, for the gifting and the talented, uh, the talents that are in those that are here. But today, Father, the honor is yours. We've come to be in your presence, in your glory, in your, and be with you today. We ask that your spirit will just have free will in this place today. God, move in every heart and every life. Let us hear from you today as we're worshiping. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Let's give the Manhattan family a, a good welcome. Amen. God had his way, and all the people driving straight on long, long roads, start making new turns. Believing they had so many days they regret, knowing that God will forgive and forget, and that they have a hope for a future. Lord, I'm still.
We're going to slow it down a little bit, but I'm thankful that I'm forgiven tonight. tonight. Man, y'all just showed up and showed out. We are just so honored to be here and blown away by this crowd. My goodness, this is awesome. I want to say it's so good for the main clan to be back in Kingman, Arizona. We love, I mean, like, I got to say, we love Kingman Family Worship Center. We love your pastors. Y'all are just so blessed here. We love, and I also want to say, we love each and every pastor that's here. I, I noticed the the pastors that stood up earlier, and, and we actually was ministered with a pastor friend not too far down the road from here earlier this year. We're glad to have y'all over. We just, we're just here to have a good time tonight. We are the man clan. Yes. 
We're the Man Clan. In case it's your first time seeing us, we are a family band originally from California, but um, we recently, just last year, moved out to Nashville, Tennessee. So we're not called Tennessee home. We've been delivered. <laughs> oh, but God's good. Well, this is my mom, uh, Victoria Mann on the bass, my older sister, Rochelle, on the banjo, my dad, David Mann on the guitar. I am the baby brother of the family, David, and no, we're not a couple. We are siblings. I get a lot of questions, so I'd like to clarify first thing. We brother and sister. No, she don't have kids, and no, she don't have a maiden name. Oh, my goodness. Yes, we have had all those questions and more. But um, it's also great to have our drummer here from Bayonne, New Jersey, Giancarlo Magali. And um, he is, yeah, he is dating my sister, to answer any questions about that. So she's currently off limits. But uh, if you know the main clan, most of the songs we do are originals that my sister has written. And this next one is no different. It's a bluegrass one. It says, I'm still standing because of you. Take him up, take him up, 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 up
nothing else can be that hindrance. It's you. You have to say, you know what, God, here's my everything. Do with me what you want to do. And I promise you, he will make your life something more beautiful than you can imagine. So let's let him have his way tonight. Amen. This final song we're going to do, um, my brother's just getting his, he can't stand to play an instrument that's not slightly tuned. I can't even tell if it's tuned or not, but he, he can hear every little thing. So anyways, this final song we're going to sing before Jason comes is um, something I wrote for my brother, and it's on our latest record, and he loves the country. We all do, but he, like, has a special place in his heart for the country. So I thought, you know what? I think there's people like that in life, and, you know, we often think of heaven as the city, and I truly believe that's heaven, but I also kind of think there's a countryside of heaven. So this is what I envisioned the countryside of heaven would look like. <laughs>
shining sweet tea. I go hand in hand. so excited to be here, as my brother already mentioned, and so honored that y'all came, but I know that y'all probably didn't come to see us. I didn't come to see us. I came to see this man that I'm about to introduce to y'all, and if you haven't heard Jason Crabb, y'all are in for a real treat. I can't wait for y'all to hear him. He's a dear friend of ours from Nashville, Tennessee. He has more awards than I can count. His talent is beyond what you could imagine, but most of all, the anointing on his life is truly tangible, and he and his ministry has been a huge impact in our lives. And so would y'all please stand and give a great big Arizona welcome to Jason Crabb. Don't you love the man family? Come on. <laughs> oh, it's good to be with you. Come on. Come gather around and let's talk about the truth. I know what he's done for me. What's he done for you? Were you hurt and searching, lost and on your own? Till he reached down, found you, and said, child, welcome home. Can somebody testify? Stand up for what he's done. Somebody give you praise for what you've overcome. Were you a prodigal light on? Tell the world what he's done for you. Come on and give him glory with your hallelujah, hallelujah story. Anybody got a hallelujah story? We all live a little different, but we're all the same. It doesn't matter how far we've come, we've all used the same grace. We all need forgiveness, a deliverance, and healing for the pain. And you can find it in the middle when you call on Jesus' name. Somebody testify, stand up for what he's done. Somebody give him praise for what you've overcome. Well, you will find Come on and give him glory with your hallelujah, hallelujah story. Everybody's got a hallelujah. Everybody's got a song to sing. Raise your hands if he's pulled you through it. Somebody say hallelujah. Come on. Everybody's got a hallelujah. Everybody's got a song to sing. Raise your hands if he's put you through it. Somebody shout hallelujah. Somebody testify. Stand up for what God's done. Watch your hallelujah story. Oh, I want to hear a big hallelujah. Yeah. Oh, it is good to be back. My goodness, good to see my family again. This makes my third time now, right? 
my third time, so we're family now. Okay, we're family now. Thought about moving out here. I'm telling you, this is the, the, one of the most incredible places I have ever been. I mean, we're, I'm, I'm serious. Where can you see, uh, where can you get God's artwork when you look outside your window and see what he has done like this? And, and y'all are pretty sweet. So why wouldn't want somebody want to move out here, right? It's hot. It ain't right now. It's 37 degrees tonight. <laughs> it's warmer back home. <laughs> oh, you can be seated if you want to, but don't get used to it. We're going to have a time tonight, I'm telling you right now. Thank you so much for coming out tonight. And we are, I'm telling you, I know God has got something. You just, you just hold on. I believe God's got something amazing in store for us tonight. Now, those of you that come in uh, for a concert, hang in there. I mean, get ready. It's going to be good. God's ordained this tonight. It's good. Go ahead and hit that next one. I, I won't sing another. Oh yeah. I was a prisoner to myself. I was a maker of my chains. I was shackled by the things I thought I wanted. I thought they made me free, but I didn't see their hold on me. All along it was you I really wanted. Now I've been set free, my shame is gone Amazing grace is my new song All the burdens of my heart they finally lifted And like a stone that rolled away You pulled me up out of my grave When I was crying, someone said me, Lord, you listen And now I'm all my pain is in my past. I'm free at last. Anybody set free tonight? Well, I can't believe it took so long. I can't believe I ran so far. I can't believe that all this time his love was chasing me. And I shouted from the roof that I blood of Jesus I've been set free my shame is gone a misery grace is my new song all the burdens of my heart they finally lifted I like a stone that away you pulled me up out of my grave when I was crying someone said me Lord you listen now I'm free at last All my pain It's in my past I'm free at last Hey You'll set you free I'm free at last oh, oh, oh. I'm free like a prisoner That's been pardoned I've been made new My shackles are broken you can't tell me what God can do. I'm free like a prisoner that's been pardoned. I've been made new. My shackles are broken. You can't tell me what God can do. What my God can do. I'm free. Amazing grace is my new soul. All the burdens of my heart that find and like a storm that rolled away Pulled me up out of my grave When I was crying Someone said me, Lord, you listen And now I'm free at last Thank God Almighty I'm free at last All my pain is in my past I'm free at last
Come on, if you're thankful for the blood of Jesus, go ahead and give him praise. Hallelujah. Oh, hit that next one and see what happens. Oh, my goodness. I see a town where nobody's forgotten Cause everybody cares I see churches that are filled up on Sunday They're bringing in folding chairs I see a crowd by the river Every color, every age They're going down sinners But coming up saints I see revival like a wildfire spread loose and light like heaven. Can't you see it? All of God's children living out His love. Don't you know how much we need it? His hope, His mercy and grace. When I close my eyes and pray, I see revival. Anybody want revival? Well, I got a question for you right here. Why not here? Hey, right not now? Can you give me one good reason? So many people desperate hurt and searching for something to believe in. It's gonna take somebody down on the knees. I see revival like a wildfire spread looks loud like heaven. Can't you see it? All the God's children living out His love. Don't you know how much we need it? His hope, His mercy, and grace. When I close my eyes and pray, I see revival. Tell them, say, are you ready for revival? Come on, ask them. <laughs> well, here we go. Let it start right here tonight. I see revival like a wildfire spread loose and wide like heaven. Can't you see it? I see revival. Taking over this place, falling down by like the rain. Can't you feel it? His hope, His mercy, and His grace. When I close my eyes and pray, I see revival. Oh, if there's one thing I need, let it stop with me. I see revival. Yeah. I want revival. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. <laughs> oh, come on now. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I, I am so convinced that I need to go back home and tell people back, you know, uh, where I live, they think they're the rowdy ones for Jesus. <laughs> they ain't got nothing on y'all. I love it. Boy, it is a joy to be here tonight. It's a joy to get to sing uh, about the pray uh, about the goodness of God. I, I am so thankful that I get to do. Let me let me do this. How many? This is your very first time ever being with me. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Well, hi y'all. I sure am glad y'all are here. Hey, uh, listen, if you want to get to know me a little bit better, 
All you have to do is uh, follow me on Facebook and Instagram. It's uh, Jason Crab Music. I have a blue check by my name. Uh, uh, where y'all going, boys? Y'all just got me. Y'all don't. No, they. Hey, get to, get them boys some seats. Yeah, I want them to sit down. Yeah, right, there's some seats up here. Right, we just, well, I want y'all to stay, man. We're gonna have a good time. Uh, so listen, and this is very important. When you go to follow me, know this: I do not inbox anybody. I do not message them. I do not uh, talk to them. Uh, on Messenger, I just don't do that. So if you get anybody that says, hey, this is my private account, and I just wanted to say hi, sorry, not me. <laughs> okay? I always have to tell people that. It's so sad. Isn't it awful, uh, all of the scams and all of the stuff that's going on today? It just makes, I wish I could get a hold of them. <laughs> Lay hands on them. We'd have to pray about it if I was going to use oil or not. <laughs> and then and bring them back. I've, I've had some crazy things happen. Are you leaving too, sweetheart? I, uh, but I'd love for you to follow us and stay. let's stay connected. Um, I've got this new, this is, I want you to know I love you and care for you and am excited about what God is doing and uh, we're all in this together because we're up here singing doesn't mean anything it just means we're all together we're just helping one another we're pulling for one another That's it. Let, me, let me do another song let me see what happens with another one I, I, the, oh yeah I remember this one praise the Lord I'm getting older I'm glad I remember I've been trying to figure out what it means to be human, flesh and bone, spirit and mind, soul. If I can, I'll earn your love by trying to measure up. Why do I think I lose it in the lows? But somehow you see. Just as I for the love of Jesus tonight. Can we sing it to him like this? I just want to say thank you. Thank you. Come on. Thank you for loving me. That's it. I just want to say thank you. Come on. Thank you. Thank you for loving me. Now lift your voice. I just want to say thank you.
all over the country right now that's closing the doors because they nobody's showing up and look at y'all I love it Pastor you're doing an incredible job and thank you to all of the other churches that came out tonight and all of you visitors you don't even know why and how you got here I see some of you some of you are going Welcome, welcome to the party. Here we are. Hey, hey, just, just welcome. We crazy just like y'all. We just a bunch of crazy people that love Jesus. That's that's the only difference. And uh, but anyway, let me do let me do a couple of other things right here. Why don't I do this? I want to do a. You're not leaving, are you? Oh, y'all, st- y'all staying? Praise God. Yeah, come on up here. Yeah, if any kids want to just come up and sit on the floor, that's fine. Come on. Now it's feeling like home. You want to come sit with them? You just come sit on the floor. Come on. Isn't she beautiful? What's your name? What's your name, sweet girl? Evelyn. Or, yeah, come on. Come over and sit with Evelyn. This might sound a little country, but it's a, oh, that's a right thing to sing, I guess. But I did this with my family. It was the first song that I recorded with them back some time ago. See, I love this. This reminds me of old time revival. People said I'd never make it Said I'd never see it through They don't know what keeps me going Guess they never have met you No, my life was in shambles till the day you came along. You turned my tears in the laughter. You gave me a brand new song. You gave me a 
touched my heart. You touched my heart. You touched my soul. The bridges I. here with me, my daughter, which I'm so sad that she didn't get to make the trip this time, but uh, I'll tell her you all said hi. <laughs> um, but we went there, and it was a, a wonderful, wonderful time. Um, we got to, um, well, actually, we flew out of uh, L.A., and oh, man, it was 14 hours. Yeah, I don't even like to fly. That's a long trip for a crab <laughs> to fly. Um, but, uh, but anyways, when we got there, we got to film in the Garden of Gethsemane, and we got to go uh, just do some wonderful things. And, um, and we were going to go back in, in uh, uh, November, but then everything happened in October. 
and so we had to cancel our trip. And uh, but you know, I, I ask you to continue to pray for that whole situation. Uh, people need Jesus. It's the answer to it all. It really is. All the hate, all the greed, all of the things in the world that people hide behind and say they're the reason whatever is going on. Jesus is the answer to it all. And uh, just please be in prayer uh, for that. Is it okay if I do a brand new song? This, this song, I just singled to radio, and um, I think it's probably the most important song I've ever recorded. I know that's a big statement, but it truly is. I think it's one of the biggest songs I've ever recorded. The most important song. I don't want to say the biggest. I think it's the most important song. And the reason being is because there's a lot of people that are dealing with past failure. And a lot of people are dealing with the voices of the enemy bringing up past failure to you day in and day out. We good? Awesome. I don't mean to interrupt, but we have two cars blocking my neighbor's driveway, and he's not too happy. Uh, a gray four-door Ford, it's right against this big uh, six-foot metal fence, a four-door Ford, a gray one, and a white four-door Escalade. If I could get you guys to move that, I would greatly appreciate it. Plenty of parking over here on this side. Thank you so much. Again, it's a good problem. <laughs> Unless he gets real mad. <laughs> I've been Looking at a mountain I could not climb I was addicted If I'm being honest For a long time I was in a prison In need of a savior So I lifted my hands up up to the sky I cried out to heaven That's when I surrendered For the first time Oh God can use A broken man He can take all of our failures Make us whole
I don't do this right in the middle of something, but I'm going to do it right now. I want every one of you to get out your cell phones right now, unless you have a flip phone. <laughs> if you got a flip phone, this ain't going to work. But get out your camera phone, to just go to your camera button and just shine it up here on this. The reason that I want you to is because uh, it is a brand new song. The way that they do things these days for songs to be added to radio is that uh, they look and see how many times a song is streamed since it started uh, being released. And so if you will uh, do this and then hit the button and then add it to your favorites and then tonight when you get home, let it play all night long on repeat. <laughs> And turn it down if you don't like it. I don't care. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> that'd be great. Yeah, right there. All we have to do is just point at, at, at that. And then also there's a video that's out on YouTube that we shot. And so we'd love for you to do that. Hey, I want to, uh, I want, if you don't know how to do it uh, and you have a smartphone, just ask that little kid that's sitting beside you. <laughs> They will help you. <laughs> yeah, they'll help you. Uh, here, here, here's the thing. Oh, yeah. Did you get it? It won't do it? Oh, bless it. Oh, well. I'm sorry. Here, let me have your phone. Let me see if I can do it. It won't. Did it work for y'all? We're going to have to pray for her phone. You can just go on Spotify or whatever you want to. Hey, listen, I want to tell you something real fast. I want, I, uh, we're, you can put your phones up. Uh, I, I want to tell you something real fast. Man. Y'all get your phones out. Y'all start scrolling through TikTok, don't you? What's going on? Hey, all right. Yeah, you can take it down. Hey, uh, listen to me real good. Listen to me. I, I want to I wanna express something to you. Uh, God has blessed me. I've, I've been all around the country. Those of you that, that said you've never been with me before, I've been traveling for 32 years, uh, over 150 to 160 dates a year. Um, it's it's amazing how um, how tired I am. <laughs> uh, uh, no, I, 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 I'm kind of laughing, but not really. Um, it's just amazing how God has sustained me and allowed me to get to do this uh, through the years. I, I of course you can see I sing pretty hard and give it all I've got, no matter what I do and. Uh, and he's kept me. People ask all the time. They say, well, how do you keep your voice? I said, he does. I, I don't know how. Uh, he's just good like that. He's a good God, and I'm thankful for it. 
Um, what I'm getting ready to tell you is not anything that I'm bragging or pleased. If you, if you knew me and knew my heart, you would understand uh, what I'm getting ready to say, where it comes from, okay? I have been all over the country. I have sang uh, all over the world. I've been from Israel. From the last time I left here, I was in Israel. I've even done a concert at the top of Masada, uh, the Garden of Gethsemane on the southern gates of Israel there, of the old, old city. I, I, that's, I, that's, you don't have to clap. I, I, uh, I've sang at Red Rocks in Colorado. I love Red Rocks. Red Rocks is awesome. The most uh, intimidating place I've ever sang in my life is Red Rocks. It's just, you feel so small. Uh, I've played Carnegie Hall twice. I've sang, uh, I've been with presidents. Uh, I've sang for kings uh, in Morocco. I was there. Um, I've been with every pastor that you could probably imagine. Um, sang at Marcus Lamb's from Day Stars at his funeral. And, and from everybody from Joel Osteen to you name it was there. And I have been with them. The reason that I'm sharing all of this with you doesn't have anything to do with me. Um, I couldn't do it. I'm from Beaverdam, Kentucky. I barely know how to get in and out of the rain. Okay? And that is the truth. <laughs> Sometimes I fail at that. Um, here's the reason that I told you all of that. Um, out of all of the people that I have been around in my life, there is a family that has, is probably more true than any person that I've ever been around. Not just on stage. The stage is great. What they do on stage is fantastic. But behind closed doors, there are even more of, of what I would call uh, sold out, born again, crazy in love with Jesus. Um, and I'm talking about uh, the man clan, the man family. I, I, I'm, I'm being honest with you. I, you can ask my wife. I've even t t asked my wife. I'm like, are they for real? Or are they like, like something from heaven to just give us examples? You know what I'm saying? They truly are absolutely amazing. I mean, they pray about everything. We get ready to take off. We're praying over that bus. We get ready to come in. We're praying. It, we're driving down the road. Brother man, he's back there. I thank you, Heavenly Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, blessed Savior. He's just thanking the Lord going down the road. I said, man, that's what I want to be. I needed them this week. People ask me, how do I get charged? Well, this week it's because I was with them. Now, I've heard people, you know, <laughs> we're getting ready to do something that's going to be so much fun. Uh, turn, turn to your neighbor right now and say, neighbor, are you ready? Are you ready? This, oh, this is going to be, are, are you ready to have some fun? I mean, okay. You, you ready? Come on, come on. Turn around, turn around to your neighbor say, you ready? Come on. Ask him. Okay. Now look back up at me. Y'all calm down. <laughs> I have heard numerous of ministers make this statement. They've all borrowed it from one another. It's a great cliche. They would say, if you want to sow in good ground, then so I'm going to tell you this is some of the best ground that I have ever seen in my entire life bless you 
Listen. From the time that these youngins that were standing up on this stage were born, they were traveling the country, evangelizing, telling people about Jesus. That they just bought, listen, on the bus, they were just traveling all over the country. They'd just go somewhere and park and have revivals. Park and have revival. Go to church, park and have revival. Preach the gospel, see people saved. I'm, and they just bought their first house this last year. I'm, isn't that wonderful? But think of all the sacrifice. Some of the greatest people I've ever been around in my life. Turn to your neighbor and say, are you ready? I, I didn't ask them the first night if I could do this. I didn't ask for permission. I, I was just asked for forgiveness later. <laughs> Poor David, he said, you embarrassed me to death. He said, I want to go hide somewhere. You won't find any better kids than these, these two. None. You won't. None. Anybody that knows them knows that's the truth. So here's what I want you to do tonight. Pastor's going to come and he's going to tell you what to do and he can fill you in as well. He's supposed to do this, but I took the liberty to kind of share my heart. I wanted to. Do you know what it took to put all of this together? They spent their own money for advertisement. They spent their own pockets to make this work. Did you pay, did you buy, did anybody buy a ticket to get in here? If you did, you better look for that person you bought it from. <laughs> I don't know if you need to go shake their hand and say, uh -huh. or, <laughs> but please tonight, I'm not asking you to do anything more than what God would tell you to do. But what will happen is there'll be two numbers that come to you. The first one is the one that I think the Lord will speak to you about. The second one is the one that you're going to try to negotiate with the first one. <laughs> you know I'm telling you the truth because I've done it before. Don't rob yourself of a blessing. And, and if you don't have money to, to give tonight, borrow, borrow, ask if you can, hey, listen, ask your neighbor if you can borrow a check. And if, you, if God hasn't given you a number, give that neighbor your check and they'll write it out for you. I would love for everybody to do something tonight and to give to this ministry. And, and you'll tell them how to, to give, right? Absolutely. So I'm out. Uh, I'll be back. Thank you, brother. Praise the Lord. Can I have the ushers come forward? This is a free will offering. You give as giving to the Lord, and God will bless you. Amen. Um, amen. Are you enjoying the concert so far? Amen. If you're writing checks, write them to Kingman Family Worship Center. We're going to write one check uh, to, the, uh, to, the, to the team. So um, if you're giving, uh, if you want to give online, you can do so. You want to put the QR code back up, you can go to the QR code and give online. If you want to just pull your camera out and do that, um, either way you do it will be fine. Um, but be sure, be sure to give with a joyful heart. Amen? Amen. Heavenly Father, thank you for the opportunity to, to be here in this in this place, in this atmosphere, and in your presence. Thank you for the worship and the music, God. Thank you uh, that you have poured into us tonight. Help us, Lord, to be a blessing to the man family and a blessing to Brother Crab as they have been a blessing to us. We thank you for it in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 God bless you as you give.
Well, is it okay we do a song together? I tell you what, I love this man right here. He's a role model for me. He's, he's just the best. I don't have, I have the words to say it. He's just a man of God that I just I admire, inspires me. God's so good. We're just excited about what God's doing in this place tonight. So we're going to do a song together. This is off our latest record, and it's actually the title track um, on that on our, of our album. It's called Where the Lost Are Found, the song. It's actually written by Jason Crabb, and um, he let us record it. My dear sister in the sound booth, you can go ahead and press number two, and that should go back to our feet up there. Beautiful. Thank y'all. You're, the media team at this church is just wonderful to work with. I'm thankful for you guys. But um, So this song, um, Jason wrote, and uh, he came in and produced it and sang on our record with this. So we're going to do it together tonight. song you want to back there when you get free. Yeah, I just love them. Thank y'all so very much. Again. Oh, oh. Hey, this has got a little something to it right here. Come on. There I go. All right, this one. I'm not the 
the choice I made in a moment that was dark. I'm not the lies I heard spoken to my heart. And when I'm falling down more than I stay, come on now. I hear your voice remind me who I am. There we go. I'm a soul set free. New life, new heart, new song. What used to be is a pair. Fixed on you when the enemy attacks. I come back with what's true, and I'll never be defined by my mistakes. Oh no, cause God, you redefine me with your grace. I'm a soul set free, new life, new heart, new song. What used to be is a very Somebody else Free to live For more than myself Oh yeah I'm a soul set Before I do this next song, I, uh, I want to say that was a lot of fun. <laughs> y'all like that one, didn't you? Yeah. Y'all have to do a little, y'all, next time I come, we'll do that one, and y'all have to figure out a little, a little, a little dance. I am horrible at dancing. When I get to heaven, I'm going to ask the Lord, and say, well, why didn't you put anything right here? <laughs> There's no rhythm down here. I just don't know. Oh. Um, Sister Man, uh, t- tonight, right before we got ready to come in, and I hope this is okay to just share, but, but bless her heart, we, we were getting ready to come in, and, and uh, we were going out, and the door shut, and uh, she was closing the door, and somebody else closing the door, and, and her finger got in the way. <laughs> and uh, so we, <laughs> so we was, uh, well, I wasn't. Uh, <laughs> Rochelle was bandaging things up, and, and um, and we just begin to pray and she goes I can play I can do it it'll be fine it'll be fine I'll do it with these fingers I told her I said you need to start playing with those fingers more often the ones that uh, she the one that she didn't hurt because boy she was really digging in tonight <laughs> and uh, but but right before we came in buddy I'm going to tell you what we just got to pray and, and the Lord moved in, uh, in that bus and I'm so glad that that she is okay. It could have been, honestly, could have been crazy. But thank you, Jesus. Um, and I pray that uh, God's healing will uh, just continue to, to, to heal her finger. And everybody that agrees with me says amen. 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 He is a great God, isn't he? He's, a, he's the best. He's the best. I, um, there was a song that uh, I had sang all over the country um, God gave my father he's an incredible songwriter and uh, he gave my father and somehow dad uh, said I want you to sing this song and I'd been singing it but little did I know I was going to go through the lyrics of this song my wife and I 
um, which she's awesome. I'm going to go see her tomorrow, and I haven't seen her in a week. And let me just go ahead and tell you, I am ready to see my wife. She is the sweetest thing. She is the prettiest. My goodness, she's gorgeous. She really is. I could go on, but I won't. She really is, and she is my helpmate. God gave me a good woman now, I'm telling you. Earlier in our marriage, I'm, I'll never forget, she came to me and she said, Jason, I got something to tell you, come inside. And I said, I was outside and I was trying to get grass to grow because we had just built a little old house in, in Beaver Dam, Kentucky, and they took off all of the, uh, the topsoil and they, it, to flatten things out. I don't, I don't know where they took it. I could have used some of it. <laughs> I was trying to get Kentucky 31 to grow on clay dirt, and I'm telling you, I was doing the best that I possibly could. But I remember helping my granddad on the farm, and he said, man, I'm telling you, I remember hearing him say this. I was pouring uh, triple 10 fertilize in a, in a we, I was sowing it on the lawn, and he said, I'm going to tell you, you put that triple 10 on anything, it'll make it grow. Well, I, okay. It was 100 degrees outside, and I thought, well, I had some little sprigs coming up. I was really proud. I thought, boy, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to throw the triple 10 to it and put some water. And, and as soon as I throwed it out there, I watched it before my eyes go. I killed every little sprig that I had coming up in record time. So I'm out there just, just dousing it with water, trying to get it to grow. My wife comes out and she said, I, I, come inside, I gotta tell you something. I said, okay. I came in and she goes, we're gonna have a baby. And listen, listen, li now listen to me. I sat on the couch and we hugged and we, I think we even kissed. <laughs> and we cried. And it wasn't just a little bit of time after that we started having complications and lost our first child. And the same thing happened with the second one. And uh, you're talking about a, a trooper. This woman was absolutely, we were the second child that we had lost. We were getting ready to do a Thanksgiving photo shoot for a big publication in Christian music. And they had got a big meal and we were all getting ready to sit down and they had photographers around and they had come in from, from all over and come in to take this picture and do this story. And right before we sat down, she, she says, I, I need to go over to the house. And she went in, and we lost our second child. She came back out, and she goes, there's nothing I can do. She said, let's do the pictures. I said, I'll, I'll, I'll cancel if I need to. And um, she said, no. She sat down, and we did the pictures. And this song came out. And I had sang this song to her and myself night after night. I knew I wasn't going to be the greatest dad in the world, uh, but I knew I could love kids. And I knew she was going to be an incredible mother, and she is. And we sang this song, and I, I, I will say this. I know what it's like singing these lyrics on one side of the trial, and now I know what it's like to sing it on the other side because I had two. we had two girls after that those two miscarriages. We had two girls. Pastor told me he, he, we were singing in a little church and he said, come up here. And he called us out. And we came up and stood there. He prayed over us. He was one of those, I mean, I'm talking about one of those that snot on you and, and spit on you. And, you know what I mean? It's like you, you went like this you, you, as he was praying. He was kind of doing this because he was just, yep, that's, he just, yep, you know. And, uh, but man, he said, I want you to go get a bag of Pampers and put it up somewhere where you can see it every morning and thank God for the promise that's on the way. That's what we did. So we had two girls. Our third pregnancy was a success and our fourth. So this song means so much to me and I want to do it for you tonight. It's called Through the Fire. So many times I've questioned 
question certain circumstances things I could not understand many times in trials weakness blurs my vision that's when my frustration gets so out of hand oh but it's then I am reminded I have never been forsaken just tell one test alone That's when I look at all the victories I'm reminded that all God has done for me Is through the fire My weakness is made strong oh, oh, He never promised That the cross would not get heavy The hill would not be some trials. Amen. Amen. You, you can be seated for just a second. I, I want to just uh, do this it, for, for just one moment. Um, God has really done something spectacular this week. Uh, every night that we have been a part of the, the, the um, music revival, great things have happened. I mean, I'm talking great things. People being set free and delivered and, and saved. I can't tell you how many people have come up and give their hearts to the Lord and rededicated their life this week. Some of you now are, are right now, I just said that and you're going, uh-oh, it's time for me to leave. <laughs> no, just hang, hang with me, okay? Listen, I, I understand. I, right now is a very strange time in the world. I remember growing up, uh, Brother Man, when I was younger, I was a, a PK, I was a pastor's kid, and I remember growing up, and, and preachers you would see on TV and stuff, they would say, you know, uh, things are changing in the world, the world is getting worse and worse and worse, and I'm, I'm thinking, everybody I know is Christian, you know what I mean, everybody around me, I've just thought, everybody, it, it seemed like in the United States was 
they might have been a different denomination, but they, they were believers. But the day we live in right now, I've never seen more of an attack on uh, the church. Or, uh, let me say this. On people that believe in Jesus. Let me say it like that. Because sometimes, yeah, Christians, believers, people that love Jesus. And, it, and, and he did. He said that in the last days, you know, apostasy would be everywhere and, and we would know the signs of the time as compared to the days of Noah. Hello? And, and so here's the thing. I, I uh, now more than ever, you and I, boy, and I'm going to preach to myself tonight or talk to myself tonight. I'm really not a preacher, but I'm going to talk to myself tonight. But now more than ever, we really need to be uh, about his business. You know what I mean? And, and what I mean by that is just to be kind. kind. <laughs> I made a statement. We was headed down the road and I said, you know, uh, you can love somebody to the cross faster than you can shove them. You know what I mean? And, and nobody is going to want to hear what you have to say unless you really know, let them know that you care for them and you want them to succeed. How, how crazy would it be if I was to walk up to you and go, hey, do you want to know how to be successful in life? And you turn around and went, no. <laughs> you see, that's really what Jesus wants for you. Now, I'm not talking about a name and claim it kind of thing. Although I grew up in all that, you know, I believe that whatever we ask, you know, we shall receive. I mean, I just believe that our Heavenly Father is great like that. He's a good God. He's an awesome, awesome Father. I love Him. But what I think He really wants for you in this life is to enjoy what He has blessed you with, what He has given you. And that's the breath that's in your body. I, I, have you ever seen people more stressed out than ever before than the day we live in? Anxiety and stress and fear. I mean, kids, yeah, go ahead and turn them lights up. I, I love to see people. I, I, I love them. Jesus came and gave his all for you. And everything on this earth that is against that or trying to bring you down or trying to, for you to not, well, to live in drama. Anybody ever been around anybody that likes drama? I'll tell you something, this crab will find a shell. You start being dramatic, I'm going to hide under a rock. I'm going to get away from you. I, I do not like drama. I don't like it. Mm -mm. No. Drama. People, I, I, I had some friends, people that would uh, we, we hung out with for a little while. <laughs> uh, my wife and I and Man, there was something going on in their life all the time. There was something crazy happening. It was just crazy. And it was, just, it was like the, just a blow up all the time, just something crazy. And, and a few years had passed, and they would call me and say, hey, can you help me get my child in a, uh, in a rehab? I don't understand what's going on. I don't understand why they're like this. I don't understand now why they're on drugs. I don't understand why they're going through. And I, I wanted to go because they don't even know what peace is. All they know is the next whatever. The Lord wants you to have peace in your home. He wants you to experience joy in your house. He wants you, I mean, I, I, I'm so sick and tired of all of these other things. I just would love tonight 
for us to make a commitment and just make a bold statement and say, anxiety, stress, fear, drama, whatever it is, pack your bags and get out of our house. You know what I mean? How awesome would it be tonight when you walked through your door that you felt when you went home that you felt peace like you had never felt before in your life? Do you not think that that's what God wants for you? I believe that. I believe that with all of my heart. I believe he wants you to experience joy that when you wake up in the morning, you open up the curtains and say, good morning, mercy. You know what I mean? Don't, don't, you, don't you believe that? And so the crazy thing is, is we're still fighting stuff that we, we shouldn't even be fighting. For instance, some of us are dealing with past failure. Some of us are dealing with being failed in our past. Some both. Because one leads to the other a lot of times. You know what I mean? It, it really does. And it's crazy for us to, to come up to the altar and, and I, 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 you know, and, and it's like you have this negative, nasty, whatever it is, it's, it's just, let's just call it sin, right? Sin, and, and, and we come up and we, and we say, Lord, forgive me of this sin, and he does. Because whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. And if you confess your sins, he's faithful and just to forgive you of all unrighteousness. And who the Son sets free is free indeed. That's not a denominational thing. That's Jesus' thing. You know what I mean? Whoever he sets free is free indeed. And, he, and if you pray, I mean, he said, he said, he even told a thief that was hanging on the cross that didn't know what to pray, didn't know even how to be baptized. I might not ever get mass back, but that'll be okay. But it's the truth. He didn't. He didn't know, but he prayed from his heart. He looked to Jesus and said, "Will you remember me?" And he said, "Today you'll be with me in paradise." I'm telling you. Listen, listen. That's that's the type of savior that we serve. And that's the, or that's the one that, that you can cry out to tonight. And I, and I believe that you can be set free. But we'll come up here and we'll pray these prayers. And then the next thing you know, before we leave, we picked up that same stuff. And we're letting it control our future. And we're letting it control uh, our destiny because we are living by our past mistakes. No, I don't want to say mistakes. Mistakes is something that you don't intentionally mean to do. But the Bible says that when the temptation comes, he makes a way of escape for you. So that's really not a mistake. That's a choice. You know what I mean? A bad choice. So we'll make a bad choice. And the next thing you know, we come up and we pray and we ask the Lord to forgive us. And, and we should leave it right here. Why, would, why should we leave it at the altar? So other people will know where they can come and be set free as well. Right? And not live under the bondage of, of, of sin anymore. He, he's forgave you. But some of, some of us, after even being forgiven, Jesus will forgive you a lot faster than you'll forgive yourself. And he does. But then the enemy will come and, and he'll cause you to stay up late hours. And you're thinking about that past. And then the next thing you know, it's causing you to not be active. I don't know why I'm saying this tonight because I didn't even plan on going this direction. And I'll be honest with you. This has been one of the hardest nights that I have had in a long time to even sing. You ever had one of those nights where you stood up here and you're going, I feel like everything I'm doing is hitting a brick wall. I believe I know why. Because the enemy, he'll, he'll try to come in and hinder everything. But let me tell you something. When it breaks in this house for somebody tonight, it's going to break big. 
I believe that. I believe something's really going to break tonight. Started with us getting off the bus, didn't it, Sister Maya? Getting our fingers caught in the door. The devil, he knows who's here tonight. He didn't even want you to come in, but isn't it crazy? Some of you don't even know how you got here. You don't even know why you're here. I know why you're here. Because the Lord manipulated your footsteps to give you a chance to be free tonight. And he got you through the door. Amen, Pastor. Amen. I believe that with all my heart. He wants you to be set free. He wants you to be made whole. I want you, I want to see you live out the best life that you could possibly live out. I want to see you walk through the doors of the church with a smile on your face, but also in your home and, and out to the grocery store. And, and I know life is tough sometimes, but let me just go ahead and tell you, hey, listen, that joy he gave is all for you to have that tonight. He wants you to be set free. He gave his all on Calvary for that. Let me do it like this. How many would say this? We'll just keep our head raised. Usually we bow our heads and close our eyes. And you, know, you know what I mean, the churchy thing? Maybe y'all don't do that here, but we do it back home. Everybody does it. They play 15 verses of just as I am and try to get people to just, I mean, do everything they possibly can. But you know what I've learned? If people want to be set free and really want the joy of the Lord, you know what? You really don't have to just, you know, Holy Ghost, do your work tonight. Amen. Do your work. So here's what I want to say. How many would say, I'm so tired of all this anxiety and stress and, and fear and all of this stuff that's crept in my life? I'm tired of dealing with it. I'm ready to be set free from that. I'm ready to be made whole. I want to live in, in, the, in, the, in the way that the God wants me to live. I'm, I'm just, I'm, I'm finished. Anybody? Oh, good. How many would say this? This is going to be bold. You ready? How many would say, I know I'm not really where I need to be with Jesus, and there needs to be a change in my life. Mm-hmm. Good. You understand why? Can I tell you something? Let me, let me help us. We're all a mess. Every one of us struggle. Every one of us. We all struggle. We all have. Well, there's days that I, I do a whole lot better than others. You know what I mean? Have you ever been had that day where you just go, why did I do that? <laughs> I knew better than that. Huh? Hmm. Anybody? I ain't gonna do that. 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 Um, in the name of Jesus, I plead the blood. I plead the blood right now. Shoo. Oh, I plead the blood of Jesus right now. I want you to begin to pray for your family right now. Pray for your family. I, I don't know why I feel this, but I walk back through here and I, I just, in the name of Jesus, protect our families. Some of you have got family members that you need to be praying for right now. I don't know why. I, I was going somewhere else, but right now, call out call out your family members just, just for a moment. I, I feel this. In the name of Jesus, protect our families. In the name of Jesus, we bless your name, Jesus. Bless your name. 
Here's all I want us to do. Those of you that raised your hands and said, I'm not where I need to be with the Lord. I, I need to make a change. Those of you that raised your hands and said, hey, I'm, I'm dealing with all this anxiety and stress and stuff, and I, I really need to give it to the Lord. Those of you that raised your hands, I just want you to get out of your seat and come up here. We're going to pray together. We're going to just pray. Just come up here and stand. Just get as close as you possibly can. Start a little track if you want to. Just, just come up here and stand. Some of us are worrying about a lot of things. And I could try to go through a bunch of things and try to bring them up and try to hit them, but you know what you're, what you're going through. You know what you're facing. But I've got good news. I am thankful that we serve a Savior that really cares. He cares. Push, push as close as you possibly can. Push as close as you possibly can. And those of you that are in the back right here, if you don't mind, just for a second, stand with us. Stand just for a second, if you don't mind. There's still room in the aisles. And I know there's, you know, it's hard to get up here, but there's still room in the aisles. So here's what I want us to do. I want, to I want you to turn to a person that's beside you and say, hey, you want to go with me? I'll go up there and pray with you. Come on, if there's anything you want to give to the Lord. You, you, aren't you tired of trying to go to sleep and you're dampening your pillow at night with your tears because they're keeping you up at night, worried and stressed and, and, and all of these kinds of things? Just let's give it to the Lord tonight. Just turn to a person that's beside you and say, hey, do you want to go? I'll go with you. Now, you better ask somebody or I'm going to ask you why you're not asking somebody now. You better ask. Say, do you want to go pray? I'll come with you. Come on. And take them by the hand. Say, let's go. I'll go with you. Come on. Come on. Let's go pray. Bless your name, Jesus. Bless your name. Now, before I lead you in a prayer, here's what I want you to do. I want you to cry out to the Lord in your own way. You might say, I don't even know what to pray. It doesn't matter. Just call on Jesus. Just say, Jesus, thank you for this moment. Lord, I need your help. Whatever you want to say to him, whatever you want to say to him, just, just talk to him for a moment. Come on. You might say, I've never done this before. It doesn't matter. Just, just call out to him. Come on. Jesus, we love you. We need you. We got to have you, Jesus. We bless you, Jesus. We call out to you right now, Jesus. Bless your name, Jesus. Come on. We need you, Jesus. We love you, Jesus. We love you, Jesus. We love you, Jesus. We love you, Lord. We bless your name, Jesus. Bless your name. Love you, Lord. All right. I want to lead some of you in prayer. Those of you that raised your hands and said, I'm not where I need to be with Jesus. I just want to pray with you. And I want you to repeat this prayer after me. I want you to repeat it with me. Say, Dear Lord Jesus, I need you. Please forgive me. I'm sorry all the things that I have done I ask you to come into my life set me free be my savior guide me teach me whatever you want me to know help me to learn it Tonight, say this, tonight, tonight I, confess, I confess, I need you, Jesus. I surrender my life to you. I know right now 
because your word said, if I confess my sins, you would forgive me. I take you at your word. I'm saved right now. Amen. Father, uh, we are praying for those that are dealing with stress and anxiety. If you're dealing with that, would you just slip your hand up if you're here right now? If you see a person that has their hand up, would and, and if, if it's okay, would you just put your hand on their shoulder, on their shoulder, and just begin to pray for them? In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, we plead the blood of Jesus over their lives in the name of Jesus we plead the blood we plead the blood we plead the blood of Jesus we plead it right now fear, anxiety, stress be gone in the name of Jesus right now in the name of Jesus right now in the name of Jesus right now in the name of Jesus we ask you God to do a great and mighty thing right now in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, hallelujah, bless your name, Lord, hallelujah, bless your name, Jesus, bless your name, Jesus. Fear, anxiety, depression, get out, pack your bags. We have authority over our home. We have authority over our lives because Jesus gave it to us. In the name of Jesus, be gone. Be gone. In the name of, be gone. Be gone. Plead the blood of Jesus over your house. When you go back home tonight, just right before you walk through the door, you just lay the, your hand on the doorpost of your home and say, no more, you're crossing this line. No more. Hey, and listen, if there's something in your home, get it out. You don't have to have somebody tell you to get out. You know, get it out. Time to sweep it. Clean it up. Get it out. In the name of Jesus. Heavenly Father, I thank you for joy and peace that passes all understanding to rest over this congregation, over every person in this house. Right now, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, we bless your name, Lord. We love you, Lord. We love you. I believe over 2,000 years ago when Jesus was on the cross and the blood was flowing down that cross when he was holding on to that whipping post and being beaten that he saw you here in this church and he did that for you to have victory tonight I believe that sis I believe that with all my heart can I have a big hug from you Heavenly Father I just pray you heal the broken places in her life Whatever, whatever she needs, just do it. We give you glory and praise and honor for it. I love my sister. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Bless your name. I'm 
proud of you. <laughs> well, this has been a different night. I like his boldness, don't you? Hey, he says come boldly to your throne. I know, but you. He has given me that measure of faith. I'll tell you what, he's given it to me. Praise the Lord. Right here. Hallelujah. I love you, dude. Go give it to the world. Take it to the world. Take it to the world. Do me a favor. Uh, keep, uh, keep us in your prayers. Please, keep us, this ministry, in your prayers. Because uh, we need it. Yeah. We, need, we need all the prayers that we can get. Pastor, I want to say thank you so very much from the bottom of my heart for allowing us to be here tonight. Allow me to come here and, and feel free and have liberty. And, and listen, those of you that prayed tonight, listen, those of you that prayed tonight, this is a great house. He is a great leader. This pastor is an incredible leader. So here's what I'm going to say. Come get fed. Come here and get fed. Find you a home. You're going to have to have a home. You know what I'm saying? And uh, if, if you did pray that prayer, get with them. Let them know. That way that you can go the next steps and get baptized and all of those kinds of things and just grow in the Lord. He's a good God. I love y'all. Can I do one more song for you, for you tonight? Come on, you gotta help me with it. You don't have to go back to your seat. At least stay with me until we get done with this one. Come, on. Come up here, man. Clay. While I was sleeping, Lord, you were working. On a mess I made like only I can do When I start thinking I'm so far from you I wake up to hear you whisper That's not true Well, good morning, mercy You call me worthy It feels like the sun shining on my face Living's good this side of grace I feel it working A goodbye to the hurting You woke me up Put me on my way Hallelujah It's a brand new day Good morning mercy Yeah, I'm still learning To trust and follow I won't worry What tomorrow Sure aren't pretty. Hold it all, and they're in your hands. I'm lifting mine up now, cause you're good. Good morning, mercy. You call me worthy. It feels like the sun shining on my face. Living's good, this side of grace. I feel it working. A goodbye to the hurt. You won't be up with me on my way Shining on my 
face And if it's good this side of grace I feel it working A goodbye to the hurting You hold me up for me on my way For Jason Crab. Come on and let's give Jesus an incredible hand clap for praise. I, I'm going to be out at the table uh, until the last person leaves. I can't wait to, to uh, hug your necks and say hi. And, and, uh, and also, if you want to take some of the product home, I only have 30 of my new one left. We have sold completely out except for one box. And tonight, I don't want to take any product back home. So you can come back there and get two CDs for $20 or three for 30. But two for 20, you will not buy that at Walmart that cheap or Kmart. Right. They don't even have Kmart yeah, anymore, do they? So. You can only get it at Crab Mart. And it's sit up back there. I love you. Brother Man. Isn't Jesus wonderful? Let's praise him one more time. God, we love you tonight. Thank you for your love and your mercy and your goodness. Hallelujah. God, you're good to us. We bless your name. Glorify your name. Let's pray tonight. Father, we thank you for your love and your mercy and your goodness, the opportunity of giving us to come and gather together in the house of God and Lord in thy presence. We ask you now that you would stir our hearts as we leave this place. Touch those that have dedicated their lives to you. Touch your people. Touch your saints, your pastors, your church. Keep your hand upon us as we travel. Bring us back to the house of God. Oh, God, we love you and thank you for it. In Jesus' wonderful name and everybody say it. Amen. Amen.